Hey Pledgy people, Lorenda here. Welcome back to my channel, Steady As She Grows. Now I wasn't planning on doing a video today. Uh, I probably look like a hot mess. I've been out and about all day. But I got so many cool plants that I wanted to share before I plant them. So I was starting to plant them and I'm like, I probably should shoot a video <laughs> because I picked up a lot of cool things today. So um, I just want to go over a little plant haul that I got today from OC Farm Supply. I picked up a lot of cool things and um, I wanted to share that with you. So um, closest to me, I picked up some strawberries. I have not shared with you yet that I purchased a green stock, which is a tower um, garden planter. And I'm super excited about it. I have had it probably for some time now and I haven't had a chance to put it together and plant it. So that'll be an upcoming video for you guys. But I wanted to show you some of the plants that will be going in that uh, green stock. So, strawberries is one of them. So I picked up a few different kinds. These are Camarosa strawberries. These are Chandler strawberries. And these are Albion strawberries. So some of these will be going in the green stock as well. The next thing that will be going in the green stock are peppers. Now peppers take a long time to come from seed to fruit and I did not start any peppers. I did pop a few pepper seeds in the ground that are just starting to come up, but um, look at how big and beautiful some of these peppers are. So it's a much better head start. So some of the peppers that I will be planting this season are just red bell pepper. We eat so many peppers in my house. Like my husband has them with breakfast. We probably have fajitas at least once a week. Um, I put them in chili, everything and any extra abundance that we have of peppers, I will slice up and throw them in the freezer and they're perfectly fine. So um, you can never have too many peppers in my house. I hope to fill the green stock up mostly with peppers. So that'll be kind of cool. I'm gonna kind of MacGyver a rig of supports to support some of these peppers as they do get kind of bushy. So um, yeah, so that'll be an adventure. But um, red bell peppers. <laughs> And we got jalapeno pepper. We got pepperoncini. A New Mexico pepper. Italian gourmet peppers. These look so delicious. We got uh, an Italian long pepper. And those are sweet peppers other than the jalapeno. I believe. This is a purple bell pepper. This pepper is called Mamma Mia Giallo. Mamma Mia Giallo. It's a sweet pepper. It's like an orangey pepper. A sweet banana pepper. A big early pepper. I think it's just a red bell pepper. I picked up a few of those. Uh, just a yellow bell pepper and an Anaheim pepper. So excited for the peppers. Um, the ones I did pop in the ground are Cubanelle peppers and I believe just a California Wonder Pepper. Um, I love the Cubanelle peppers. They are so delicious. Um, one of my other favorite peppers is, is Edvarsky pepper. It's from Baker Creek. That's a delicious pepper. I did not start any of those from seed, but I think I'm still going to. And if, you know, they'll produce later in the season, obviously, because I haven't started them yet. And it's worth it because they're so delicious. And here in SoCal, we don't have to worry about them dying to frost or anything like that because we're so warm here. So they will be just fine. And I encourage all of you people in warmer climates as well to just pop some seeds in the ground because if they can withstand your climate, you'll be fine. If you don't get a frost or you get a very late frost, you will be fine. You'll get some peppers. <laughs> Alrighty, what else I, did I pick up there at OC Farm Supply? These are uh, some double purple impatience. They looked really pretty. Like you know, I'm a sucker for flowers. I picked up some sweet alyssum. Now this is a purple alyssum. You can see that right there. Now I want to try to use some sweet alyssum as a living mulch. Um, I have some in my garden already and it's very low growing and 
where I do have it, it, um, it keeps the soil moist there and I thought I would try it. So, and I'm always looking for low things that don't grow very vigorous, that don't take a lot of water that can withstand our sun. And this seems to do fine in my garden. So I thought I would try it as a test to mulch some of my tomato plants with it to see if it'll just kind of like grow around the top so I don't have to worry about watering it so much in, in the dead of summer. If this is planted in the in the pot with it, it'll be fine because it'll retain the moisture. Because the last thing you want is bare soil. And I have so much in my garden with bare soil right now. And you can really see it get so dry by the end of the day. What else did I pick up? I picked up some cucumbers. This is a six pack of cucumbers. And there's almost two plants in each little cell here. So you get a lot of cucumber plants for this. And this cucumber variety, I've never heard it before. It's called So You. And it's a ribbed cucumber, like those little ribs all along the cucumber around it. Kind of neat. Um, it's a kind of a Japanese cucumber. So I thought I would try it. I'd never seen it before. It's an Asian cultivar with long, rigid, sweet fruits up to 18 inches long. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, and now what else do I have over here? Push these out of the way. I picked up some just Japanese cucumber. And look, almost two plants per cell. You can't go wrong. And I picked up some butternut squash because the seeds I planted um, didn't come up. And the plant that I did plant last year, um, I mean, they were good, but they weren't super sweet. So I'm thinking maybe it's just the variety I picked but I thought if I try a different variety, maybe it'll be a little sweeter. Or if you know how to get your butternut squash to be sweeter, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your input on it because they were just okay. They didn't blow my mind, but hopefully these ones will. And I picked up two more tomato plants. I need another tomato plant like I need a hole in the head, um, a San Marzano and a Paul Robeson. Oh, and there's two plants in this little pot here. Yay. <laughs> you know that meme? What do we want? All the plants. Where are we going to put them? We don't know. <laughs> That's totally me. Okay. And what else do we got over here? Oh. We got some more sweet alyssum. But this is like a variety pack with different colors. I thought it was really pretty. This needs to be watered because it looks really dry, but it's a lemon mint. Oh, it smells so good. And this is a strawberry mint. It smells like strawberry. It's just amazing. I had never seen it before. And you know, I love mint in my teas and my waters. So um, had to pick these up. And lastly, ooh, just wait. Look at how beautiful these are. I picked up two more blueberry plants. Now this one is called an emerald and it says highly productive, will fruit with no chilling. It gets five to six feet tall, requires very little pruning, use acid fertilizer and plant in the full sun. Well, that's perfect for me. Does it need chilling? Great. And it already has some flowers on it, but um, I might pick off the flowers as I plant it. So it'll put all of its energy into the roots right now. And this one is called Sunshine Blueberry. Sunshine Blue, mid-season, heat-loving, southern high bush variety. Compact, upright, evergreen foliage, three feet tall, hot pink blooms fade to white in spring, followed by berries, sensational in landscapes. I don't know if you can see this. Look at all the buds on this plant. There are blooms all over. So I love blueberries and I am super excited about these plants. So I do have um, an acid planting mix that I picked up at OC Farm Supply as well. It's by GB Organics. Now you wanna plant um, blueberries in soil that is very acid, which is a low pH, because 
they kind of like a soil with a lower pH. So if you plant it in the regular potting mixes, which are usually a neutral pH, like a seven, they'll do okay, but they'll do way better in a lower pH. And the bag soil, it's a little more pricey, but it's so worth it. And if you're gonna spend the money, like these plants were like $27 each. If you're gonna spend the money on these plants, you want them to do the best they can do. So spend the extra little bit of money and buy the acid soil so your plants will be happy. It's so worth it, right? The last thing we want is to spend a lot of money on fruiting plants that don't give us any fruit. It's like, what's the point? We're just throwing money out the window and I don't have money to throw out the window, do you? <laughs> So that's everything I picked up today at OC Farm Supply. Stay tuned in the next video or two, I'll be posting a video of me trying to put together the grain stock and um, the supports that I'm gonna jerry rig and um, get these in there. So that's gonna be an adventure and I'm really excited about it. A little scared, but really excited. So if you haven't yet, get out and grow something. It's a beautiful day. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Share me with your friends. Tell the world. Steady as she grows in SoCal. Likes to grow as much as you do. So take care and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.